All right, what is going on everyone? I'm leaving out the office right now and I'm so happy because the sun is shining. It's still freezing, but at least the sun is out. I'm about to head over to the coffee shop so I can start off this video with some cinematic B-roll. Welcome to my channel. My name is Jossie Lin J. I still have my work badge on, so I should probably take that off. I apologize if it's a little echoey in here. I don't have my external mic because it broke and I had to send it to Rode and now they have to send me back a new mic. So I apologize for that. Get up to see me fall. We are standing into time zones. This video is sponsored by Issue Hunt. Super excited to be working with them. As a matter of fact, Issue Hunt might just be able to help you with that lack of creativity or that lack of motivation to program or write code. But I'm gonna get to that in just a minute. I recently received a question from a student about how to find creativity for programming projects. And this is a great question because as a student, you're always told what project to do and what the output should be. And you don't have much creative freedom. The only creative freedom you really have is with the implementation and even that has constraints. Also, a couple videos ago, a lot of people were talking about my hairline. <laughs> Guys, I'm super busy. I mean, I'm working full time as a developer. I'm trying to get videos out, work out, enjoy life. I don't always have time to make it to the barber. But when I do, you know I'm coming correct with the fresh lineup. I know this is super off topic, but I just had to talk about that. One of the reasons why I decided to become an engineer or a computer scientist was because I wanted to improve the world or I wanted to help the world in some capacity using math, science, and technology. I often found myself motivated to do programming projects However, I had no idea what app I wanted to build or even what audience would use this app that I'm supposed to create magically. Learning new technology opens doors to new ways of solving problems. Think of it this way. How would you be able to build Google Home skills if you haven't coded in JavaScript or TypeScript and the only language you've ever tried out was C++? God bless you if that's you. I know that was me at some point in time, you have to get out of your comfort zone and how to code with different technologies because the more technologies or tools that you have in your tool belt, the better programmer, developer, or engineer you'll become. Sometimes it's so awkward being a YouTuber and sitting in the house by yourself vlogging. You try to be funny and you just don't know if you're funny. Sometimes you feel like you look weird. Ah, man. You all may know my job as a YouTuber is to make the introduction of the sponsor portion of the video as awkward as possible, which is why I'm showing you this pineapple wearing sunglasses. With that being said, a word from our sponsor. Issue Hunt was created with the mission in mind to create a sustainable open source ecosystem that allows open source developers to be paid for contributing to technology that they take their precious time out to create. On Issue Hunt, users can upvote an open source project or issues and spread awareness of their favorite projects by sharing similar to Product Hunt. This feature, you can easily find popular open source projects based on a number of updates and requests to fund for critical issues that need to be solved. It can be so hard to juggle projects when you're already juggling other jobs, hobbies, family, and so much more, which is why I'm so happy Issue Hunt gives open source developers the incentive to continue working on projects that can be revolutionary for the tech world. When you're developing an app, there can be many times where you need to implement something that is rather difficult or very time consuming. Some of these features can be nice to have or they're features that you absolutely need in order to have a good user experience. 
For example, I'm always looking for new and innovative ways to enhance web application user interfaces using Angular or JavaScript, since those are two of my favorite languages to code with. When I visited Issue Hunt's website, what do you know? I see multiple UI design projects that work with Angular and JavaScript. And at the top of each project page, there's a link to a GitHub account so you can play with or implement the libraries created into your current app. Open source is a great way for you to look at other cool projects that people are working on, and that will spark some creativity in your brain, I promise. Regardless, I think that learning from others will spark inspiration and motivation, and I think it will also help you with that lack of creativity. Also, always keep in mind that a good product will always solve a problem. Good UI UX always solves a problem as well. Think of a problem that you may face and try to think of whether or not you can solve it digitally. And let's say you don't have any problems that you think you can solve digitally, talk with friends or family and write those things down, write some of the benign tasks that they have to do. Well, I hope this was helpful. Um, share this video with someone who would benefit from it. That'd be dope, I think they'd appreciate it. Especially when you're lacking creativity, sometimes it's hard to find a video where people talk about creativity. So even if it's someone who isn't an app developer or a programmer or whatever, I think this could be beneficial to anyone. Comment down below if you're still here. Still here, bro. And uh, you might as well subscribe and join the fam. You might as well hit that notification bell, smash that subscribe button, do whatever you need to do to be a part of this family. With that being said, I will see you all later. As always, faith over fear, stay blessed. I'm gonna see you soon, peace.